What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, as you can see, we, we have this new thing over here, this new creature that we got last episode from putting a strange bun in Vincent's uh, toy box. Don't know what in the world to do with that, but I do want to check up on the calendar here. Yeah, so it looks like Gus's birthday is later on today, so let's not forget about him. Uh, I think we checked up on him last episode, uh, what he likes. Yeah, we only know that he likes tulips and we do indeed have tulips now, so that's good. So we'd always give him a tulip. Uh, and it is Sunday right now, so traveling trader as well, so don't want to forget about her. But check up on the weather report. It is going to be beautiful and sunny all day tomorrow. Okay, well, whenever it's sunny during the summertime, uh, definitely want to go fishing in the ocean to try and get puffer fish. We just got a mission from Demetrius last episode, and the only time you can get it is during the summertime, I think, right? So definitely want to do that. And it's like a very narrow window, like noon to 4 p.m. So let, let's just go over there like straight up right now and uh, hopefully start fishing for some puffer fish, right? But for right now, let's check up on the fortune teller. What's our luck going to be today? Good humor today. Amazing. Awesome. Don't know if we're going to go to the desert again today. Maybe later on this episode or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, greetings. It is I, the Queen of sauce blah 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 <laughs> hey have you ever had a bunch of carp laying around and no idea what to do with them yeah me too <laughs> well i've devised a great solution to this all too common problem i call it carp surprise it's quite easy to make but you'll need a lot of carp i don't know how many we may have if any <laughs> anyways we just learned how to cook carp surprise i wonder if it's very good i guess i'll see here in just a bit but let's check about our inventory right now yeah we did a good job of uh, emptying it last episode uh see if we have oh yeah we're not gonna have carp over here right yeah uh, then we need peppers which i believe if we go outside we should have the hot peppers done right because we checked that at the last episode and we have a lot of hot peppers ready to go which is amazing we also have some gold bars finished up right there and this is what we did last episode we made three or well, we made only two more iridium sprinklers bought one of them over here so now all of this is completely automated all of this is completely automated like uh, sprinkler wise and all the kind of jazz like down here we uh planted down even more where are they oh yeah and then uh let's grab all the hot peppers here uh but down there we planted more i think radishes i think those were down there because uh, we need i think 100 radishes for the current special request so that's why we planted down a bunch of them we bought like 50 more seeds of them last episode as well as i think right here this is wheat and it is, yeah, it is done right there. Okay, cool. So let's grab all the hot peppers right here. And what's really good about the hot peppers is that they'll continue to grow. Uh, I don't have to like replant them or anything like that. So that's actually really good there. And then those are the, uh, the, the what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Like the something cabbage. Pink cabbage, purple cabbage. I don't know what it's called. Red cabbage. <laughs> the color is completely wrong. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm there. And then we bought two more fruit trees over here. Apple and pomegranate. And speaking of such, we do have oranges done. So now we can actually go donate that to the community center. And don't want to forget to water this one crop. This is the only crop we need to manually water. I might get another sprinkler and put it like right there. And then we'll be good to go. And then, yeah, I guess we can water our dog's bowl over there too, right? So let's do that as well. Let's check out the mushroom cave over here. And... I even got some comments from you guys suggesting what I could do with the uh, barn and the chicken coop over there. I could shut the garage or the door or whatever over there and then plant down the uh, the grass starters and then that would prevent them from actually eating them. So I guess we could do that at nighttime, I suppose, right? But for right now, we still have to manually milk all the cows, manually pet all the cows, etc. right? So uh, yeah, let me just do all this busy work real quick. And uh, yeah, you, as you can see, we have Robin over there. She's working on upgrading the barn. We started that last episode. Oh yeah, and then we have a uh, to feed him as well. So she's hopefully going to be finished later on this episode, you guys. So that's actually going to be really good. Whoops. Uh, grab the hay. Put that back up inside here. There you go. And then I kind of want to close the door over here. I I assume, can they teleport into there at nighttime? I hope so. Uh, but, you know, at nighttime, I do want to plant down the grass starters and then it'll actually start growing and then spread overnight. And then uh, spread again. And then maybe like two days from now, we'll actually let them uh, roam around and stuff, right? I did get a comment from someone saying, yeah, apparently I have an Iridium bar. I, I, I guess I could completely forgot about it. <laughs> I could have made another Iridium sprinkler a little while ago, I suppose, right? But completely forgot to do that. And yeah, we have Omni Geodes. You guys had to save this prismatic shard thing until we get to like the Ginger Island. Apparently Ginger. Oh, yeah. And then it's 1040 right now. We need to, we need to go to the ocean and start uh, doing some stuff over there like at noon. So I guess we'll just head down this way. Um, I do want to go this way to maybe go check up on the... Well, not the traveling trader, but uh, oh, yeah, and then look at that. We have some stuff over there. I guess I'll grab them. Oh, man. This is why I need to place down more staircases over here. Uh, there you go. Or not staircases, but uh, there you go, more of them. Uh, pathways over here just to prevent like weeds and stuff like that from growing over here. Grab them. There you go. Good. Uh, but it's 1120 right now. I want to head to the ocean like right now, but I also want to check up on Marnie's area just in case Jazz or Shane has any cutscenes. And I don't know if we're going to have any time to do that. We don't have any money for the traveling tr uh, trader person. We could probably go check up on what they're selling just out of curiosity. Well, Jazz is outside, so I guess uh, I guess we could just talk to her. Shane's gone a lot and Aunt Marnie is busy all the time. So I have to invent my own games. What are you playing there? Huh, Jazz? 
I'm thankful for all my toys. Are your barn animals, are they toys? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Shane's working, and then Marnie, well, she works at the ranch, so I don't know what she's really doing, but well, I guess she's just generally busy, right? Uh, but we have good luck today, so we going to get anything in the trash. Well, we do it, yeah, because we do have good luck today. I guess we uh, have hopefully have a better likelihood of getting that puffer fish, right? But it is noon right now. Oh, I forgot to make the, uh, what do you call it? The pepper poppers so I can move faster. Man, whatever. 12.10 right now. And then Mayor Lewis randomly down here. What are you doing down here, Mayor Lewis? Waffle, did you hear? It seems the old town bus started working again overnight. Wait, Mayor Lewis, you're not freaking out about these pants I'm wearing? <laughs> that old thing has been dormant for decades. This is truly a great mystery. When what has Pam been doing? If it's been down for literal decades, has Pam just been sitting by? Oh, now he's spooked. <laughs> I guess Pam's just been sitting by hoping hoping someone to fix it. And then I come along and finally I can fix it, right? Golly. But we always seem to have good luck fishing next to that rock, so let's do this. And hopefully we actually get a heckin' puffer fish. Because we can only do this from now and oh, wow! Holy heck! Oh 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 no, man! Holy heck, I really, I need to get that one bobber. Do I have a bobber right now? I do. I think it's the, what is that one? It doesn't say what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, am I going to, oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, I got something right there. I need to get that one that makes it where, uh... oh man, man, whatever that is, is super evasive. Holy heck. I, I, I should probably go home and, I don't know, we don't really have any time to go home and then, what in the world? Oh, oh man, I got seaweed right there. Man, ah. come on, hopefully we get a puffer fish. I wonder if that really hard thing I'm trying to capture is the puffer fish. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're getting some right here. We're getting some. Just concentrate. Oh, we're, oh, it's going down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm, oh, I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get it. Come on. What is it going to be? Is it a puffer? Oh, it is a tuna. Do we have that already? 48, 47 inch tuna or whatever. I guess we already caught one before, huh? Yeah, I, th I think that puffer fish, we must have, that, that must be the really difficult one. That definitely was a lot. Oh, 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 this might be a puffer fish right here. Oh, no, no, what? How are you supposed to? Did you see how fast that was going up and down there? Oh, yeah, this this bobber gives you more uh, quality stuff, right? Yeah. Ah, it's 1.30 right now. I don't know, maybe tomorrow we'll switch out for a different bobber. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll buy... Uh, oh, I don't have any money right now. I was supposed to say, like, maybe I'll go to Clinton and see if we could buy... I, mean, I don't know, maybe we could sell him that tuna right there and get some money out of it. And maybe we could buy a bobber from that. But, yeah, this has got to be another tuna right here. This is way too easy. This is definitely not a puffer. Or tilapia. Wait, dude. Hold on, is that community center? It is. As well as the tuna. Both of those are community center. Hold on. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Well, yeah, we're going to finish the arson bundle. Uh, here, just a bit. River fish, night fishing, lake fish, ocean. Oh, yeah, we didn't have two. Oh, so we're going to finish ocean fishing uh, bundle. Okay, well, if anything, that's good. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, and then also, yeah, we need uh, puffer fish for the specialty fish bundle there, too. So that kind of sucks there. And then sandfish, wood skip. I assume sandfish, you get that from the deserts. Wood skip, don't know what you get that from, but I guess it's just continue fishing here. So we got a tilapia and we got a tuna there. If we can get a, uh, a puffer. Oh, oh. Ah, seaweed. <laughs> it's an iridium quality seaweed, though. But uh, if we can get a, a really good... Oh, yeah, I, I don't want to sell. I don't want to sell those to uh, Willy. Oh, yeah, it's 2 p.m. Ah, man. Yeah, forget... We don't we don't have the good bobber right now. Maybe later we can worry about that, but we do have this. I do want to go to Clint, see if he'll... Uh... Oh, wow, three gold ore. That's actually really crazy. Uh, get Clint to open up the one Omni Geode right now. We have just barely enough money for him to do that, which is crazy. We need 25 gold, I think. We have 30, so let's uh, so get him to open that up. And then I guess if it's something good, we can go home and open up the other ones, right? So I suppose we could do that. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're able to. I don't know. Maybe we could sell him some of the gold or some of that. I don't know. Hopefully I'm far enough away from. Uh, okay, I'm far enough away from them. That they're not uh, freaking out about me going through the trash, but uh, shop. So can I sell? Okay, I can sell him the gold ore, which is good. I, do I really need that? I I guess I'll sell them. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So we, we have four. Uh, we can open up four Omni Geos. Hopefully it's going to be something good. And then we can go home and open up the other ones, right? So there you go. What are we going to get? Okay, mud. Okay, I'm glad that I sold the gold. So we can actually uh, open up another one. Whoa! What is that? Dwarf gadget? What? Dude, should I go home? What is that? It was an artifact. But I kind of want to keep it. I don't know. Maybe we'll go home and, 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 and get another one, maybe? I'm very curious. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Open up this thing right here. Oh, it's a part of the farm computer thing. Ooh. Ooh, I remember. I Hmm. Donate one to the museum and then make the farm computer. That's that's what it's for. Okay, so I kind I kind of want to go home right now. Process one of these. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to come back home and then uh, let's go to the bus stop. Because he closed that like four or whatever, right? So, man. 
we have a spice berry right there. Do we have any worms around here? No. Yeah, just the one on the beach. Yeah, the beach is a lot easier to see the worms. And I haven't even... Is, oh, wow, a bunch of pickle stuff just finished up as well. Nice. What am I doing right now? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's, go, let's go inside. Let's go grab the... I guess we'll grab some of the cauliflower or something like that as well to continue pickling. Uh, but you guys also said that star fruit is really good at uh, pickling and kegging as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. But for right now, uh, cauliflower. There you go. Let's grab that. And let's grab some of the coal. So... Oh, I don't have any... Mm, do I have any wood? I, I do. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll get some charcoal and then we'll be able to process more of them if it does indeed work. So let's put another Omni Geode in our... Is that it right there? I don't know if that's the... Oh, it is. Okay, so that's that's the geode cracker right there. Okay, cool. So uh, last episode, I believe we put a bunch of stuff inside the keg, so it only makes sense that these just finished up as well. So there you go. And I think that's all of them. Okay, cool. So uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll just, uh, there you go, get a little bit of charcoal out of those. There you go. Cool. We kind of want to get that farm computer from that other Omni Geode if we can. Like another, uh, or another dwarf gadget from that Omni Geode. See if it even works. Oh, yep. Yeah, wow, you guys are right. Look at that. We got another dwarf. Do we want to get another one? Because I'm like, it says you, you only you donate one to the museum and then the other one you make the farm computer. Like, what does the farm computer even do? I don't know. And then it sells for 200 gold. Doesn't say who likes it. Uh, OK, only two villagers like it. 31 dislike it. So, yeah, uh, I guess if anything, that's kind of spoiling it there, saying that it's mostly disliked as a gift. So I guess that's good. I guess we're fine as is. Maybe I'll keep the rest of the uh, Omni Geodes. Maybe tomorrow we'll go and uh, get Clint to open up them again. And then uh, let's see, I guess we'll grab the refined quartz over here as well as some other stuff, right? Uh, what was it? How much refined? I think it's one battery and like 10 refined quartz. So I need to get more quartz over here, which thankfully we have the coal. Uh, we need to process nine of those now. So golly. I guess I'll get more wood and process more of them, right, golly? Uh, then I guess I'll just sell the other other stuff inside the shipping container, right? But right now, let's just smelt these. There you go. And uh, put these inside the kilns over here, charcoal kilns. So there you go, cool. And let's sell all this other stuff over here. So there you go. Oh, yeah, all the cheese is gold star, which is cool. And then pickle cauliflower, we're going to get some good money from that, so that's going to be good. And then dwarf gadget, that's what we're going to be working on here in just a bit. Yeah, and we need to donate these to the museum, so I guess I'll, or uh, not the museum, but the community center. I keep calling it the wrong thing. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, something else I was going to do. Yeah, that's why we're home. Uh, switch out the bobber, so slightly increases the bite rate when fishing. Nah, I don't think we need that. I think, I think whatever I had beforehand broke, so that's why I don't see it right now. And I might need to buy it from Willy, so yeah, we could probably buy it from Willy tomorrow. Uh, or craft it. I bet you can craft it, because I'm pretty sure you can craft those, right? Uh, if we go down here. Yeah. Spinner quality. That's what we have. Trap bobber. Causes fish to escape slower slower when you aren't reeling them in. So what does that even mean? Is one copper and then ten sap? We should be able to do that. I think... Yeah, I, th I think I think it was trap bobber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was trap bobber that we had beforehand. Okay. So there you go. And then, what was it? Ten sap or something? Completely random? There you go. Would have been easier if I just did it manually there. But whatever. <laughs> Let's get the trap bobber. Yeah, we don't need to have the quality bobber. I'm like, the quality bobber gave us both uh, iridium quality tilapia and tuna there, which is good and all, but I don't think we need that for puffer fish that we're working on right now. And we already know that the weather says that it's going to be sunny tomorrow, which is good. So I know it's wild bait. Uh, I guess I'll switch that back to regular bait. Uh, I'm like, if I if I get double puffer fish, that's going to be great. So I can give one to Demetrius and then the other one for the community center. So I, get, I guess I'll give the, the wild bait there. Uh, if I wanted to make more wild bait, what am I missing? Fiber, bug meat, and slime. Yeah, see, the fiber is what we're really low on. The fibers, yeah, see, we have we have good fiber there. It's just that, yeah, and then we're three away from making another one. I, I'm, I'm just trying to keep them for the grass stars because you need ten of them to get one grass starter. And it's uh, 5 p.m. right now. I think the I think the uh, cows and chickens and stuff go inside maybe in like an hour or something like that. So not, not too... Oh, and that's going to finish up here pretty soon as well. Uh, but the quartz, let's keep smelting the... There you go. Get that, and keep smelting the refined quartz over here. I think we need to do one more uh, set over here. So, uh, one, two. Then I have to cut down more trees to get more wood here in the future. But for right now, I think we're fine as is. I'll put the quality bobber back up inside of here. Uh, let's put that up in there. There you go. Cool. And yep, yep, it looks like a bunch of the uh, cows and whatever else just teleported inside because the heckin' door's closed over here. So, uh... Yep, they're inside. Okay, cool. So I can actually put down the grass starters over here, which is good. So I'll place it down like so, put one there. Then in the morning, it's going to spread. And then I guess I'll just keep it as is for a couple days and let the grass starters continue to spread, right? So that's going to be great. Uh, the refined quartz is still taking quite a while. I don't know if we have any uh, broken glasses or broken CDs or whatever over here to, to, to process in the recycling thing to get more of the... Yeah, we don't have any of those. Man. Oh, yeah, and then... Someone, actually, multiple people said on, was it Sundays? Yeah, I think I think you guys said on Sundays, you give Jade to the trading person in the desert, which we don't have enough money to go to the desert. Anyway, it's too late, too. It's uh, 6 p.m. 
Uh, but this is going to be good for uh, next time, right? Do we have any jade? Yeah, okay, we have two jade. You can trade them one jade for like one staircase, which I guess is better than, I'm like, it's just sitting in my inventory here, right? So I guess it's an okay trade. Uh, so I guess that's something we could do here in the future, maybe next week or something like that. So that's something to look forward to. But for right now, uh, we're fine quartz and all the kind of stuff. We have a bunch of quartz going right now. I just don't know if we have any, uh, and I, I guess I'll put this up and like call flowers up as well. Uh, the refined quartz is just taking forever, so I can't even tell if, uh, they're ready to go yet. But I, I really want to make that far- Oh, there you go. I really want to make that farming computer. Oh, whoops. I just set another one to go in there. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I'll do another one then, huh? So there you go. Cool. So hopefully that's going to finish up here pretty soon. And then, uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll just go to the community center right now and, uh, donate the tilapia, the tuna, and the orange and get those going, right? So just head over there real quick. Oh, here we go. And we need to donate two fish and then one thing for the artisan bundle. And we're going to finish both of them. So ocean bundle, we're going to finish this with the tuna and the tilapia. And there we go. Bundle complete. Awesome. What are we going to get from it? Uh, reward is... Okay, five warp totems for the beach. Okay, I guess I can't complain about that. Specialty fish. Yeah, so once we get the puffer fish, we're going to be halfway on that. We need to get the shad. Yeah, um, shad, I have that written down in my notes. Uh, whenever it rains, yeah, whenever it rains, we need to go fishing in the forest river and in town, or, or in town, I mean, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, so, or 2 a.m., so basically all day there, and then we'll be able to catch the, the shad, it's just that it's only during, uh, the raining time, which we have to kind of wait on, but the pantry over here, we need to donate the, uh, and then the animal money, yeah, we're, we're going to start getting close to this, uh, once we get the goats, which we're going to work on maybe later this episode, I don't know if, uh, Robin's going to be finished in time, but, Let's see, where is the orange? There it is right there. Okay, cool. And we finished up the artisan bundle. Let's see what we're going to get from this. What's it going to be? A keg. Oh, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, it's always good to have more kegs. Get more uh, money out of them, right? More cauliflower juice and whatnot, right? So uh, that's good. Let's go back home. Let's go see if the uh, smelting do. Oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah. This this right here. Oh, I should have. Yeah, I was. I meant to start upgrading my pickaxe. I forgot to do that. But yeah, right here, we can get a bunch of fiber, it looks like. Yep, there you go. Cool. 23 fiber. We can get more grass stars, right? I think we can get, yep, three more grass stars. Awesome. So it's going to help out tremendously there. Uh, let's see if there's anywhere else we can get more uh, weeds. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Over here. Cool. So hopefully we can get more fiber from this. Uh, a little bit. Oh, wow. Wow. Look. Oh, wait, huh? Another secret note? I thought the secret notes we... Unless it's... Can you have repeat secret? I guess we'll see here in just a bit, but... There you go. Break all those. Is there anything else up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, let's see what that secret note is, though. Let's see what this is. Oh, wait, what is it? Oh! I know where that is. That's in the desert. I guess we have to go to the desert tomorrow, you guys. Uh, but there was that bench. I even sat down on that bench. There's something there. There's it's a treasure map again. Okay. Uh, don't want to forget about that, but it seems... Oh, and by the way, I think someone said that the last... I guess that would be the last secret note then, right? Because there's only one left. Yeah, there's only one left. Apparently, you get that from hitting level 25 in the mines, or the the, the Skull Cavern. So, I guess we can do two birds with one... Two birds with a one stone there. You know, finish up that Dr. or Mr. Key, or whatever his name is, as well. Oh, nice bunch of those just finished up right there. Cool. As well as, I guess, get the last secret note, so that's going to be really good, you guys, but, uh, do we, yep, we have the 10 refined quartz now, so can we make that computer thing, and by the way, uh, we can make one more grass starter, okay, cool, so we have four of those now, now where's that, here's right here, farm computer, okay, scans the farm and displays useful, oh, I guess we could try that out, so, where, where, where could I put that, can I, I don't know, maybe I'll keep that inside or something, I don't know, but, uh, let's place down more grass starters over here, so it, uh, that's the wrong thing, here we go, so there, I guess we'll put another one there, and then uh, another one down here. There you go. Oh, whoa. Yeah, we have another one. Holy heck. We have a lot of them here, you guys. Awesome. And I'll close this. I forgot to go get the uh, coffee over here. I know I'm going to get comments about it. I don't think the tea continues to grow during... Yeah, I think it's only during the springtime, so yeah. Uh, but let's go over here. And then, yeah, we have a keg, so uh, I guess we'll grab some more cauliflower for that. But grab all the coffee and put it up inside of the respective chests here in just a bit. But holy heck, look at this. We got 41 coffee beans right there. 50, 54. <laughs> then tomorrow uh, afternoon, we're going to go fishing again for the uh, puffer fish. As well as it's going to be Gus's birthday. So I guess we'll give him a tulip for his birthday. Just because, I mean, like, it's something he likes. He doesn't necessarily love it. We don't know anything he does love. So, uh, which is such a weird thing to say just out loud. <laughs> We don't know anything that he loves. There you go, stack it. So we have 233 regular coffee beans, not even Gold Star or whatever. That's kind of crazy there. Uh, but the farm computer, where, 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 where can we put that? Mm, I don't know. Here, where this keg is, I guess. So there you go. And I guess I could just pick it up again, right? And just move it. Okay, yeah, I could just move it wherever. So I, I guess I'll just put it for right here. Oh, French Toast Farm Analysis. 
Pieces of hay, 31 out, 240. Total crops, fortune 66. Crops ready, zero. Unwatered crops, zero. Oh, nice. Open tilled soil, 40. What does that mean? Hold on. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have... How do I have 40? Farm cra farm a cave already. I guess that's the mushroom cave? Because we, we already harvested from it and that machine's ready. Interesting. So you know what? Maybe we'll put this inside. If it still works inside. That way I could be like... Or Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what's a good place to put this this farm com or whatever it's called. Yeah, it still works inside. Okay, so I, I guess maybe in the mornings I could check up on this and be like, okay, how many crops are ready and stuff. But at the same time, I feel like maybe it works better outside, so I can always verify, uh, you know, a little bit faster whether or not I got all the crops and all the kind of jazz right. But uh, foraging, put all the stuff up inside there. There you go, cool. The farm computer. I guess I'll just uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in that same spot. It seems like a good spot because it's like between all this stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Once again, I'm like very hesitant to go to bed at a normal time <laughs> before midnight, right? But uh, let's see. Tomorrow's good. Yep, tomorrow's Gus's birthday. I'm just making sure it wasn't today and I didn't miss out on it, right? But I guess we'll just go to bed and get however much money we get from the mayonnaise and whatnot, right? And we got 8,218. That's good because we're broke like all day yesterday, right? So <laughs> now we finally have some money, which is good. I don't think Robin finished, but I guess we'll check. And yeah, hey, look at that. We got another diamond going. Cool. It is Gus's birthday, so let's go grab a tulip, see what the uh, TV says. It's going to be beautiful and sunny all day tomorrow. Okay, so another day to get puffer fish, but the eighth. Yeah, we, we still have all summer to try and get the uh, the summer or the, the, the shad while it's raining uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. right in the Forest River in town. So, yeah, it's been sunny all summer so far. Makes sense. But let's see what the luck is today. They're somewhat annoyed today. Man, living off the land. Let's see what they say here. Here's a reminder of the fish you can only find in the summer. The Dorado, found in the forest rivers during the day. The Rainbow Trout, found in the forest rivers in the mountains during the day. Pufferfish, there it is, found in the ocean in the early afternoon. And the Octopus, found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can. Did we ever catch an octopus? I don't think so. I think it was a squid that we caught, right? Uh, yeah, we caught a squid. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't see an octopus here. And I think the squid, you could only get that during that one, uh, some sort of event, right? Like at the end of summer, I think it was called. We got another dime right there, and it's producing another dime. But I think someone said to start producing jades in there next. Just because I'm like, uh, we'll be able to get the stairs and stuff in there. And I guess it's a little bit faster, perhaps. Like, we're not going, we're not doing it for the money, obviously. Uh, we're doing it so we can get more, uh, stairs when if we trade it to the, uh, and then, yeah, we get the dime back, which is good. And the crystallarium, so that's cool. So I guess we'll put the jade in there next. So there you go. That's what, that's what I was kind of waiting on. And then now we have four diamonds in there, which is cool. Then we need to... Uh, do we have... How much wood do we have? We have only five wood. Okay. Well, if we if we get something really good from Clint from the uh, Omni Geos again... Oh, we have a thing in the mail. Okay, let's go check up on that. Oh, what in the world? We got a random beer right there for Pam. <laughs> I found this in a drawer somewhere. What the... Why do you have beer just in your drawer? Thought you could use it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just re-gift that back to you. And just be like, oh, look at what I found in my drawer. <laughs> and she'll still like it, right, golly? But now that it's uh, a new day, let's see what the new computer says. French toast farm analysis. Pieces of hay, blah, blah, blah. Crops ready 34. What? Oh, that's got to be coffee, right? Or like, hold on. There must be something over there done. Unwatered crops is one. <laughs> yeah, because it's a thing that's like right there, right? Open tilled soil. I don't know what that is. Because everything's got planted on it by now, right? I don't know. And then machines ready zero. Yeah. I assume that means like uh, mayonnaise machine and cheese machine and whatnot. And then farm cave ready. Yeah. Because I haven't gone over there yet. But let's water this one spot right here. The only spot I do need to water. <laughs> then maybe we'll automate that here in the future. But is there a... Oh, the... what are those? Are those the radishes? Yeah. Okay. So we're starting to get the radishes already. Awesome. So yeah, these are, I think, I think these are the original radishes that we planted uh, at the beginning of the season. So uh, the other extra radishes are probably going to finish maybe like two episodes from now or something like that, right? But uh, we're at 21, 22... We got 26. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we planted 26 radishes right there. I think we planted another like 26 or so, 24 of them over there. Then another 50 of them down here. Something like that. So those are going to finish up here pretty soon. Don't know what everything else. Oh, I guess I could hover over it and then do this. And that tells me. Oh, okay. So that's tomato right there. And then this is blueberries. Okay, cool. And uh, I think all these are the peppers we got from last episode. And uh, all this is just random stuff. And then uh, these are all 
melons, yeah. So they're they're all still working. And then I guess I guess I'll check up on the cave over here and take care of this. As well as I guess I'll go take care of all of the chickens, the cows, all that kind of jazz. They're going to be inside their barns and stuff right now because or we closed their uh door, so now they're no longer able to just walk around all over the place. I guess that's what the untilled un unused soil open soil or what, whatever the computer said. I guess that's what that is. Like random spots where I just accidentally over over tilled, I guess you describe it as, right? Oh wait, no, did Robin finish today? Hold on. Oh, I guess she, wow, she's really fast. Holy heck, amazing. Well, unfortunately, I, I all these ranches over here, we're at 23, yeah, we're at 26. We're going to have to donate all those to the uh, to the special request, I believe, right? So we can't keep those really good gold star and silver star ones, so uh, that kind of sucks. But man, she finished already today? Holy heck, well, let me milk all the cows, pet all the chickens, grab all the eggs, uh, process them, get, get mayonnaise, get cheese, etc. right? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me check my list over here. Is uh is Marnie working today? Because I think it's uh yeah Marnie's closed today Monday and Tuesday. Man, I was going to go buy the heckin' goats, but I guess I can't. But at least at least this is finished, right? So that's really good. But yeah, uh, we should be able to get a bunch of uh, duck eggs and whatever avoid eggs and all the kind of stuff today, right? Or duck feathers, something over here. So uh, yeah, let me just take care of all this stuff real quick. All right, guys, back going into town right now. Let's go to town. There you go. And let's go let's go to Clint real quick. I know it's like one. <sighs> 1 p.m. I think I have until 4, I think, right? Let me pull that up again. Yeah, I have until 4 p.m. to to catch the puffer fish. So we have a little bit of time, but I want to pay him a little bit of a... <laughs> I want to pay him a visit while he's still open. Hold on. There you go. Process geodes. Okay, so he's going to process another Omni geode. And we got, okay, a little bit of copper. Not, nothing too crazy there. I'll do another one. Whoa, what is that? Helvite? I feel like we already had that. All right, hold on. Let me hold it up. Yeah, we already had that before. Okay, let's do one more. Then, ah, oh, it's just mud. Okay, whatever. Uh, he'll he'll open up the last one then. And it's another fire course. Okay, or just fire course in general. So nothing too crazy right there. At least we got that farm computer and kind of myth busted that. So at least that worked out pretty well there, right? And also, yeah, I guess we'll go to the museum while we're in the area. But all right, we we could do that a little bit. They close a little bit later, so I don't think we have to go right now. We have another. Wait, wait, I could have another. Hold on, can I have two of these special? Request at the same time? I thought you could only have one at a time. Huh. I'm like, it is Monday, so it did just reset. Gus is fam a famous omelet. Yeah, we need to go to Gus. We need to go to the saloon later today when he's actually at work. Uh, I've got an urge to make my famous giant omelet, but I'll need two dozen eggs. Two dozen? That's 24. Uh, how many eggs do we get per day? Per day, we get six. So four regular chicken eggs and then two void chicken eggs. And then every two days, we get a two duck eggs, right? Or like one duck egg and then a duck feather or something like that. But they always seem to drop eggs nowadays, which is good. It seems like the feather is super rare. But every two days, it seems like we get 14 eggs. So like three or four days, we should be able to get that done. It's just that we can't sell. We can't like make the mayonnaise or anything like that, right? So I guess if anything, it's good for getting like points with Gus. We have four, We have 14 days to do it. Okay. But if we want to get it done as fast as possible, we can do it like in three or four days, right? And then we also have Rock Rejuvenation over here with, uh, who's that? Emily. Hey, it's actually kind of cool that they're uh, both on this bulletin board at the same time because they work together, right? Hey, I'm going to invite some friends over to do a Rock Rejuvenation ceremony. What? <laughs> but I'll need some crystals to channel the right energies. Do you think you can lend me a hand? Rock Rejuvenation. So how many rocks would I need? To, it doesn't specifically say how many I need. Or is it like a variety of rocks, like, like, like crystal fire quartz or uh, quartz fire quartz, regular stone and all the kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that. Maybe that's going to be a good excuse to go back to the regular mines. I don't know. At the same time, I feel like Gus. Let's do the Gus one. And if we did the, if we did, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm going to hesitate for right now. I feel like if I accept the request, it'd automatically get rid of this. I'm. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to let you guys let me know in the comments down below if it actually cancels. Like, get out of the way, like. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if that actually does. Like, if I if I accept another quest, is it going to get rid of the new or the old quests? Because we're, we're working on that 100 uh, radish thing, and we're, like, halfway done with that almost, right? But, uh, the bait. yeah, I guess we'll keep the current bait that we have right now, the wild bait. And, uh, let's see. Let's see if we have any better luck. We have two hours to do this now. We do have the, uh, the trap bobber, I believe, right? So, uh, yeah, we have the trap bobber, so, uh, the, the fish should move a little bit slower when we're trying to catch it. We should make it a little bit... Oh, wow, look at how easy that is now. That's good. Let's try and get the chest. Hopefully something good in the chest. Boom, okay, we got the chest. And the fish is evading us a little bit, but it's a lot easier now, which is really good. Oh my gosh, I don't know, what is this? Is If it's a puffer fish, it's going to be- Whoa, what is that? We got a red mullet, okay. I don't know, maybe that's just an easier fish there. Oh, a diamond is in a treasure chest, what? 
Holy! Wow, it's loaded with treasure. It's sure to fetch you. Have we gotten that before? I don't know if we've ever gotten that before. I feel like we have, but then again, it's like 70 something episodes in it. Wow! Whoa, that's like, we actually kept up with that pretty well there, you guys. I doubt, I don't think we got it perfect, but. What is that? Yeah, we didn't get it. Oh! Well, that's another tuna. The tuna was, it wasn't hard, but it was a little bit more difficult than I assumed the puffer fish. Oh, there's probably another tuna right here. But I don't know if we ever got a uh, treasure chest before. I, I guess you just get good money from that, right? Uh, but I feel like we might have gotten it. But oh man, another tuna right there. Amazing. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we, we don't have the quality bobber right now. So it's just making it easier right now. So these are probably like, you know, regular ones, silver star, gold star, right? Not going or, oh man. If we're lucky, we might get the Iridium Star. We have another uh, hour of fishing here, and I don't know if we want to get the puffer fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not a puffer fish right there, golly. And that's the last of my piece of bait. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch over to uh, I'm gonna have to switch over to the regular bait now instead of the wild bait or whatever that was I was using previously. There you go, maximum cast. Boom! Immediately got a hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, this might just be another tuna. I feel like the puffer fish, or I assume whatever the if that was the puffer fish. I think it was a little bit more evasive. Yeah, that's another tuna right there. Yeah, I'm starting to learn the patterns of all these different fish, which seems to happen after a little while. And it's 3.30 right now, and we have until 4. Come on! Uh oh Oh, no, seaweed! Okay, 3.40. Another maximum. I'm actually getting kind of good at getting maximum cast. Watch right when I say that I'm going to heck it up. 3.50, come on! Oh, my, oh! What? I didn't... Ah! Another maximum cast at 350, come on. No, it's four pit, man, I missed it. Hold on, can I still catch that four? Exactly four, is it? Like, 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 like 9 a.m. to 350, I don't know. Uh, it's 410 right now, so yeah. Ah, oh, man, I messed up right there, golly. Ah, that sucks, but I think Willie's still open until like five or something like that, right? If he's still open Mondays. Uh, so maybe we could sell him some of the random stuff I have here, right? Uh, spinner increases the bite, w bite rate when fishing, and then, yeah, trap bobber, lead bobber. Adds a weight to your fishing bar, preventing it from bouncing along the bar. Yeah, we read about that before. And then treasure hunter. Fish don't escape while collecting treasures. Ooh. Also slightly increases the chance to find treasure. That's 750. That's actually not bad. Cork bobber slightly increases the bite or the size of your fishing bar. Ooh, that could be good too, especially for something like a puffer fish. Huh. And then bamboo. Okay, these are just the different poles and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get another uh, thing over there, but red mullet and then with three gold star. That's actually good money there, you guys. Not bad. And then one, one. Or whatever that is right there. We have a treasure chest. I don't know what to do with that. I think we sold it before. Did we get did we get good money on that? Oh yeah, five thousand. Holy heck! Yeah, sells to the. It seems like you can only sell it to the shipping box, so that kind of sucks. But then again, who's just sitting around with five thousand gold ready to buy a literal treasure chest, right? So <laughs> five thousand gold from the that. I'm like, last time we had that. I'm pretty sure we had that at least one time before. Uh, was it had to be early in the series, and five thousand was a lot of money. I'm like, it's still a lot of money right now, but you guys know what I mean. It's 5 p.m. right now. Let's go over to the saloon. Let's go pay uh, Clint or whatever what was his name. Gus, go pay him a visit. I do have a gold star tulip in my inventory. I think I still have it. Yep, there it is right there. So I guess we'll go gift that to him for his birthday, right? And uh, hopefully it's going to be a good gift for him. I mean, it's going to be a liked gift. It's not going to be loved or anything like that, but it's still a gold star, right? So hopefully he still likes it. Let's, uh, oh, whoops. Why is it not working? Oh, there you go. A birthday gift. <laughs> That's very kind of you. I love it. Hey, no problem, Gus. And I guess he's... Okay with that. Good evening, make yourself at home. And then I, I don't think I can casually talk to Emily. Eating healthy is very important to me. I want to live a long and active life. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, and then, yeah, what else does our guest sell though, by the way? Which, oh yeah, by the way, off camera, I did make some uh, pepper poppers and I ate one. So that's why we're moving a little bit faster right now. Bread, spaghetti, coffee, tortilla. Just a random tortilla. When did he get that? I don't know. And then pizza right there. 50 energy, 22 health for 100 gold. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. And then bread, salad, beer, all the gun jazz. Yeah, yeah, I'm not crazy about any of that there. And then Pierre is closed, yeah. And then he closes. No, wait, no, he's not closed tomorrow, but bad luck today. Yeah, I didn't get anything right there. And then Pam heading over to the saloon already. Err, my head. Yeah, I think I already put up the beer, so I can't re-gift that back to her. Oh, yeah, the museum. Yeah, well, the museum just closed, I think, right there, so. I was going to donate the heckin' dwarf tech or whatever the thing was called. Yeah, 6 p.m. right there, so that kind of sucks. And, oh, yeah, and then, by the way, you guys said if I did die in the... What is it called? Oh, and by the way, I kind of want to see if there's any more uh, fiber up here or uh, weeds I can get rid of up here. Uh, yeah, a little bit right here. That might have been there last time. Yeah, just one. That's good. 
And up here, yeah, those didn't grow back, unfortunately. Man, but there is Demetrius. I guess I'll just talk to him. And there's worms right there, too. I became a scientist because I wanted to contribute to the progression of our species. That's such a... I'm like, I understand what you're saying, but that's, like, a <laughs> weird way to word it. Golly. <laughs> Of course, none of this would be possible without farmers such as yourself. That's absolutely true. We're both a symbiotic relationship between the two of us. Get out of the heckin' way, Demetri- Ah! There you go. Good. Uh, you guys said- Oh, what in the- Oh, a warped totem mountains and a little bit of clay right there. Not bad. <laughs> but you guys said, uh, if I did want to walk through someone, you just keep walking and then eventually you go through them, right? So, yeah. Just trying to test it out right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just sell a bunch of the stuff over here in the shipping container. And, uh, I don't know what else we're going to do for the rest of the day. It's Monday right now. I don't know if I'm going to do that quest. I I'll, I'll definitely have to leave it up to you guys to see what you guys think about uh, whether or not I do that. And then I have to sell a treasure ship. We got another diamond from it, too, so I guess I'll sell that. And then mayonnaise and whatever else over here. Blue jazz. I was going to give that to someone, uh, but I forgot who I was going to give it to. And then clam. And then this thing. Uh, I don't know what you use that for. So I'm kind of hesitant to sell it. I guess I'll look. Does it say if I, uh... Okay, there it is right there. Okay, cool. 450 gold from the shipping container. Sells to Clint and the volca Volcano Shop. What? There's a heckin' Volcano Shop. <laughs> or I can make a classy top, which I guess is just the same shirt I have right now. It's just red instead of the blue or aquamarine I have right now, right? But I guess I could just sell it or... I don't know. I'll probably keep it in my inventory at least for right now. And I don't think there's anything else I really want to sell. So yeah, I'm probably going to... I don't know. Maybe cut down some trees or something like that. I don't know. We have one fiber. I don't know if that's enough to make another uh, uh, thing. Uh, yeah, we only have... Yeah, we have six now, so uh, that kind of sucks. 260 hardwood, though, so yeah, next episode, we can go to Robin. Yeah, yeah, next episode, because it's too late right now, and we don't have enough money right now anyways. Uh, but, you know, go to her and then buy the stable. That's going to be a really good uh, purchase right there, you guys. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, I guess I'll cut down some trees or something. What was this? Why is there nothing there now? Oh, yeah, that's where the bait was previously. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll put the pepper poppers there. There you go. Just so I don't have the uh, warp totem there anymore, right? Uh, but, yeah, I guess I'll cut down trees and... Mahogany trees, all that kind of jazz. Check them on this. See if anything's changed here. Yeah, crops ready, zero. Machines ready, zero. Farm ca cave ready. That is so handy, you guys. Golly. I love that thing. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, and I already took care of the coffee over there. I already cut down a couple of mahogany trees. That's why I have some hardwood in my inventory earlier. So, yeah, I guess I could just continue cutting down. I don't know. Like, over here, you know what? I I'm thinking about maybe cutting down some of these trees over here that don't have taps on them. Just so I get a little bit of wood. Then I can just plant down, uh, you know, acorns or maple leaves or whatever I need to do over here. Just, you know, replant them back, you know? So, if they don't have a tap on them, yeah, I think I'm just going to come. Because I need to get the wood back anyways. And I think I need regular wood, not just hardwood. I think I need regular wood as well as uh, the hardwood to get the stable for next episode. So yeah, I guess I'll just cut down some of the trees over here. Someone did say I need to uh, have something like this anyways, like a like a tree farm, I guess you could describe it as, where I just grow them and then intentionally just cut them back down just to get wood. So yeah, at least I'm making use of all this, right? So anyways, let me continue cutting down all these trees over here. All right, I think I have them all replanted down right now, which is good. And I'm pretty sure I got rid of all these uh, rocks and, and random pieces of wood. Oh, oh, man, now I'm sluggish right now, man. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that, but uh, I have them all replanted down right now, which is good. Uh, and I guess I'll just go back to bed. Hopefully I can make it back to bed before uh, 2 a.m., right? Golly, cause now I'm all sluggish. Ah. But after all that, we have uh, 310 uh, regular wood in my inventory. That's actually really good, you guys. Start putting some of the stuff up inside. Of, yeah, there you go. Good. We even have some mahogany seeds left over. Awesome. Almost 300 regular hardwood, 315 regular wood right there. Pretty good stuff. Put the uh, regular stone up as well. We have a 51 right there. Not bad. That's half of a staircase. It's not too bad. And a 140. Can I make it to bed? I don't know. I'm all sluggish. 140, 150. I'm pretty sure I can make it. Uh, there we go. We made it to bed. <laughs> 150 AM yeah, just barely. Hey, look at that. You got level 7 fishing right there. You got a new crafting recipe for the cork bobber and the treasure hunter like bobber too. We just saw that from Willy's shops so and now we can actually just make our own instead of buying them there. Awesome. And that's going to be day 8 of summer year 2 down the... Down the drain, I guess. I don't know. Is that it sounds like a bad thing when I say that? <laughs> but it was 11,000 gold overnight, 5,000 of which was from that treasure chest that we got, which was super lucky. There, you guys. So, anyways, let's hit okay. And I don't know if there's a birthday today or for next episode or whatever. But I guess we'll check. And I believe today Marnie is still closed. So, uh, and I have full energy somehow. That's actually kind of surprising. Okay, no birthday, but tomorrow, next episode, we have Mario's birthday. And then after that, we have the Lou Hour event. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, it's going to be Tuesday. Yeah, so Marnie's not going to be open today, unfortunately. So uh, that's going to suck. I guess we'll go outside and see if there's anything new happening out there. Oh, whoa! We have a thing from, we have Gus visiting us for some reason. What are you doing here, Gus? Good morning. 
Are you going to personally del deliver something to me, or...? Ah, oh, what a beautiful day, huh? Yeah, it absolutely is. A nice, beautiful, hot summer day. You know, as the saloon owner, I hear about everything that's going on in town. Oh yeah, what is it, huh? I remember when you first moved here, everyone was a bit unsure of what to expect. A stranger from the city? An unknown personality? One sec. What in the world's he doing? Mixing something? What was that? Sorry, I have to stir this pot every five minutes. <laughs> He's just carrying around a pot of stew or something. <laughs> I know I, I know you're a chef, Gus, but golly. <laughs> and it's like 6 a.m. too. What are you doing? Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. You know, it's like when you're making a sauce. What, what is this analogy he's about to come up with? <laughs> if you put in a new spice, you could ruin everything. Uh-oh. Ow, it's being a sight. How did that just catch on fire? What? <laughs> well, I guess he fixed it right there. But then again, there's always a chance you'll create something new and delicious, right? <laughs> yeah, as long as it doesn't spontaneously combust like that. <laughs> Er, uh, what I'm trying to say is, it's been great having you in town, and I've come to think of you as one of my good friends. Oh, that's good. Cool. So I guess, is this a heart event or whatever with Gus? Anyways, I came to give you something. I was cleaning out the back room, and I found this old mini jukebox. I want you to have it. Ooh. Oh, did I forget to put a thing in that keg? I think I did. But hey, look at that. We got a jukebox. Cool. Received a mini jukebox. We have to do with skin at the beginning of next episode. It's actually an old do-it-yourself project of mine from many years ago. They're pretty easy to make. So, just in case you wanted to make more, I brought the blueprints for you. Okay, cool, so I can make another one if I want to. Awesome. He's really nice. Well, I'm gonna head home. I gotta get this marinara back on the stove. Have a good one. So you're just walking around with a hot pot of marinara, stirring it constantly? <laughs> what are you doing, guys? Golly! Anyways, I uh, can't place this anywhere. Uh... Places there, I guess. So, what is this? Jukebox off? Load game theme? Cloud country? Grandpa's theme? Oh, there's a bunch of music you can play. Music box song? Settling in? Uh, I don't know which one I like. Spring? It's a big world outside. Oh yeah, this is the spring song, yeah. Pelican Town. <laughs> spring, the valley comes alive. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of like different songs for like different seasons it seems like, huh? Then the country shop. Yeah, I don't know what I want to play here. Library and museum. I don't know, they probably shouldn't be playing music at the heckin' museum. <laughs> or the library, right? Spring horseradish jam, what? I don't know, I guess we'll keep that then. There you go, I, I guess we can customize what sounds play, right? But either way, I guess we'll just end off this video right here, right? As well as uh, go around and see if there's anything else is happening around the uh, the farm. Let's check the uh, computer over here. Crops ready, 85, what? Unwatered crops, one, yeah, of course, right? Machines ready, zero farm, cave ready, yeah, that's the mushroom cave. Uh, so hold on, what is ready? Oh, it looks like some of the uh, some of, some of the poppies or some of whatever whatever those are up there are done. So that's cool. So what what is finished? Is it? I bet it's more coffee. We have so much heckin' coffee, you guys. It's insane. Uh, yep. Oh my gosh! Look at <laughs> look at all that coffee done over there. Golly! Some of the uh, grass starters over here continuing to spread as well. So that's good. And of course, all this is watered as well. You don't have to worry about it except for that one spot right there. But some of the uh, whatever these are, I think these are poppies. I think I think. I think, isn't Poppy the one that's worth more money? Uh, let me double check my notes. Yeah, Poppy gives you better money than the Spangle, Summer Spangle, so I guess maybe now that we know which one's Summer Spangle, we can just trample them and make sure they don't continue to grow and then make sure that the uh, bee nests continue to produce Poppy honey so we get more money, I don't know. But either way, uh, is there anything in here? Yeah, it's just more of the same, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Anyways, like I was trying to do right there, I guess I'll end off the video right here and it does look like I forgot to put something inside that keg right there, so that kind of sucks. But anyways, like I was saying like 40,000 times, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And it looks like Clint is giving us a uh, piece of iron right there. Hopefully it's going to be a piece of iridium when if we do this again next episode. <laughs> and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.